Francia, Corea, y Rosa, y Corea, y la gente de Tendi, Magoga, y de Mija, y de Tendi, y de Mija, y de Tendi, 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 y de ولكن <laughs> So, when tell you about the year, we will talk a little bit about psychology, and uh, I just want to put reasons why we do this. I don't know what that means. So, now only the people who have studied somehow about the mind, how our psychology work is said this. When you control a man's thinking, you do not have to worry about his actions. You do not have to tell him not to stand here or go yonder. He will find his proper place and he will stay in it. Why I am mentioning this? For almost in, in Africa, especially in one of Africa, the largest population, Talking about marginalization, subjugation, exploitation, being killed every day. So there has to be some reason why this is happening to us. How much are you are we asking against this? So is our mind controlled that we find our proper place all the time and do not move, do not act? But we have to ask ourselves. A second one. <laughs> In prolonged oppression, the oppressed group really, really internalizes the oppressor without. The oppressor with is not present. They adopt his guidelines and the prohibitions. They assimilate his image and his social behavior. The oppressor without becomes an oppressor within. The oppressor, the oppressed becomes agents of their own oppression engaged in self-destructive behaviors for themselves, their loved ones, and their neighbors. And this happening in Norway. That is the reason we have to study ourselves. Knowledge, as you know, is a double-sided sword. It can heal, can kill if you overdo the medicine. Now the number of people they call each other, but it's not going to do them, you like to them. Especially psychology is not immune to this. So that's why we have to study how the mind controls the work and the psychology of domination, psychology of liberation. What works today in, today in Romania seems to be the psychology of domination. As Professor Azampa has mentioned it before me, from the mid 16th century to the end of 19th century, the Romans were dominant. In their own traditions, no people of other culture would dominate them. Some of the nature of we were free, so we could control our destiny. What happened then? Colonialism came. Colonialism is an act of establishing political and economic domination of foreign power on previously independent free population, like Rome. It involves control of the country and it is peopled by settlers from the foreign land. The end goal of colonization is profit by exploiting the human and economic resources of the colonized people. In the process, the colonizer destroys all independent institutions of the colonized people, imposes its own economic policies, political practices, social, social, cultural, linguistic, and religious systems on the indigenous population. The experience of the Oromo, I don't repeat what uh, I just 
the experience of the Roman colonialism of the senior rulers, the Ethiopian state have destroyed or suppressed indigenous, independent Roman institutions and our leaders. They replaced them with their own political, economic, cultural, religious, and linguistic institutions and leaders. So I'm going to be again to continue to back up their money. They destroyed or suppressed what is ours. They replaced with their own. <clears throat> they suppressed or destroyed Oromo identity, history, culture, language, and indigenous Oromo are outwarded out of for themselves, as well as for the world. The world. Fractured Oromo unity and established their own colonial administrative regions, for which we are fighting each other sometimes. And a children here in Androhana, administrative region is an idealist world region. They created an intermediary class. Which service the interest? Here is what, what Franz Fanon uh, says about the intermediary class. The intermediary doesn't lighten the oppression nor seek to hide the domination. He is the bringer of violence into the home and into the mind of the natives. That is what I've been mean doing. Well, that is what Ophelia has been doing for the last hundred, so many years. Since the governor, that is exactly what is going on. So under colonialism, this is what uh, an, a Russian army general who is helping uh, Mendelik Sage. Which could have become the ideal for philosophers and writers of the 18th century, if they had known it, was completely changed. Their peaceful way of life was broken, Freedom was lost. The independent, freedom loving world war found themselves under the severe authority of the Argentinian conquerors. One can argue. So I want to deal with the methods of the stealing and sustaining psychology of domination. Domination. Delivery. There are many several scholars who have studied this. Several experts have studied reasons behind the unhelpful beliefs individuals hold about themselves and their society. They have unhelpful beliefs about the future. One of the omission to what that was even in general. They examine the effect of individual and mass conditioning. I will need a need for not for one good hour about condition mind. That is referred to the tribe on animals and human beings. One of the scholars was nearly a matter of not serious or the condition mind. So, this is interesting. What is psychology? But I'm not a student of psychology, but I study, I, I read a lot because of the whole problem itself. So, this guy, the first person who you see over there, is a Russian guy, he conditioned dog. So he was giving food to a dog and ring the bell at the same time. Naturally, ringing of bell wouldn't call for saliva, right? But because he conditioned the dog, the stumbling is a foot and the bell is ringing. Whenever they hear the ringing of the bell, he conditioned it. So the human mind can, mind can be similarly covered. So they give you a kind of a stimuli. Reward and punishment. The The other one is political conditioning, mental uh, seduction, and the, the message. This person studied the uh, war. The other one is the manipulation of human behavior. The war on the uh, the war on the mind. The battle for the mind. The thought reform in the psychology of totalitarianism, the morning of modern demand. That was the video of the Bishnakamti So, what are the methods of uh, instilling and sustaining in the psychology of the nation? I just selected a few of them. One, the first one is an assault on the identity of the person, force people to start questioning. Who and what he is, and who they were. 
So, Professor, as I mentioned, many Romans call themselves so Ethiopian today. But, okay, I'll go further. Uh, the reason is because we have been forced to, for, to ask ourselves, am I Ethiopian or not? So, this has brought a huge impact on us. I don't think in Harabal Lesani, I come up within the literature. So, uh, the other things, other methods are isolating individuals in society from each other. I mentioned about uh, creating regions. So, they are completely isolated uh, so that we denounce our family, friends, colleagues, and also our birth. Place. They destroy existing community and social order. They do not allow you to display your culture and identity control information, they are the only ones who know everything. They encourage uh, they create an atmosphere where you feel guilt and betray yourself. Change the guilt, convince, convincing the victims that their suffering emanates from their own guilt, attributed to their own ideology and wrong action. <laughs> This is how they are controlled. Uh, compulsion to confess, offer confession as a way of resolving their guilt, which is everything for it. Create leniency, Inten intentionally create emotions and growth control responses, induce psychological decomposition on an individual person, and bringing people to the breaking point uh, uh, where they betray themselves and uh, they, they go broken and they work. Another way of uh, uh, re-education, so the, the person is ultimately called, he is born again. Force people to sign peace, peace uh, petitions and agreements, recruit collaborators to join the so-called peace agreement and peace committees, uh, progress report, the report, the report on how they have been changed, and ultimately they force them to declare a rebirth, a new rebirth. So if you have had a year, right, I'm from Romania, from Romania, a new reverse for the role of like the community. And this is the catastrophe we're in. Professional force and the clouds. Professional slaves. Mm -hmm. The colonizer is never satisfied with occupying the land of colonizing people and exploiting, exploiting their labor. To ensure permanent colonial domination, the colonizer waits simultaneous war of psychology, psychological welfare on oppressed. Colonial education produces far too many force and clouds. Schools are places where they are convinced of the inferiority. So this is what's happening in Rome. We have a lot of professional schools. I'm sorry to say this, I'm not getting into what I've read it. Professionals, we have professors, PhD holders, and anything. But at the same time, they are produced by the organizer and they am up doctor doctor the slavery that captures the mind, invading the soul of man, destroying his loyalty to himself, establishing, or I mean, establishing allegiance to forces which destroy him, imprisoning his motivation, perception, aspiration, and identity in a way of anti self image, generating personal and collective self destruction is more cruel than the shackles on the wrists on the wrists and so in institutions that help this, laws and legal law enforcement and institutions governing institutions, economic sectors, educational institutions, cultural linguistic institutions, religious institutions, art, music, movies, theater, fashion, fashion, drama, media, neighborhood communities, and family. Is there any hope? Yes. Everyone is in the mind. All conditions to live briefly with are involuntary, temporary adjustment is true. Or they can be alert. They are not permanent. We can allow. So emancipation is free from control, bondage, oppression, slavery, restraint, influence, or power of another person. So what we have to do is discovering ourselves. Reflect on the self. Start with identifying the underdeveloped self. The underdeveloped self, self encourages people to stick to pre digested thinking, uh, like keeping the status quo. If you can have to do Montano, as well as these are the things. Underdeveloped self. Underdeveloped self is hindrance of self emancipation. So we have to critically examine our pre thinking. 
the existing existing beliefs, attitudes, causes, perceptions, behaviors, and actions that prolong or maintain conditions have to be resumed. So in municipality we have to find we go further, we have to refrain our mind, deal with a comfort zone. It is not easy to deal with it because but in the case of everyone in Barba, they break the chain cycles of final education by learning your own history, culture, and food. And transform itself seeks to inspire the rest of the others, empower the people, and change their living conditions. So uh, if our mind is emancipated, we can transform our society. Uh, here is what Steve Deco says: the most potent weapon in the hands of the oppressor is the mind of the church. It is our mind that is in the hands of the seniors for each year. Here. That is why many of our people are not acting today in the media. Why is it the mind is So knowledge is power, and self-knowledge is the most important source of self-confidence, self-definition, and freedom. We don't want to be defined by somebody else. We want to define ourselves. So we need to emancipate your own mind to liberate our own mind. Can we do it? Yes, you can. Especially if we recognize, resist, and reject the temptations of keeping ourselves in the bondage, the circumstances. Mental slavery. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.